Hey, it's Nikia Nichelle, and I'm happy. I'm always a fan, and I'm always supportive of my Chicago Fire and Chicago PD cast and crew members. So welcome, John and Kara. Thank you. Um, so here's the deal. I know last season we left off with John over at Justice, which I talked to Joelle. I got to talk to her about oh. Justice. And we're, uh, there are people, there are fans of Justice that were sad that you, the, the show did not make it to a season two. Yeah, I'm one of them. Aww. Yeah. Yeah. Were you a little disappointed in that? Yeah, I mean, you know, you know, I had a great time. It was a great cast. Um, you know, great people, and you never, you never want to see a, you know, a show not come back. Right. Uh, and I think it, it it fit pretty well with all the Chicago shows, uh, but you know, it's it it happens, and and, and TV. You, just, you just have to move on. But uh, I was I was really fortunate to work with uh, with that cast and, and that group of people. I think that they didn't really give it a shot, but the good news is you're going to be on PD. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So what's the role there? How are they going to kind of filter you back into the whole swing of things? Well, there's a uh, there's an undercover case that the uh, the unit is working on and they need they need somebody to come in and help them out and you know, going undercover uh, and they reach out to Antonio. Okay. And Antonio comes back and helps them out and, and kind of, you know, starts to spark some questions uh, as to, you know, what where he wants to be and, and that kind of leads to is coming back. Oh, okay. So Antonio's character, I know, had a lot of things going on and there was some chemistry going on with you and Kara. <laughs> so people want to know, are you guys going to, you know, is, is it going to be written in where you are together or how are you romantically involved? Um, you know, I think, I think it was kind of surprising that people uh, liked that relationship so much, which is great. Um, I think the writers pay attention to that, but I, I think, you know, I think if you're holding a candle for that Brett romance, you might see some things. Uh-oh. So. Oh, so we might get a little on-screen, because it's always Dawson and Casey. It's always Dawson and Casey. It's always Dawson and Casey, so we need it to spark it up and change it up a little bit, I think so. I agree with you. <laughs> Screen hoggers. I know. <laughs> I know, so we left off really dramatic on fire. Uh, yes. This last season, uh, it, it's looking like Munch. Mouch. Mouch. I know, yeah. I said that wrong. It's okay. Much Mouch. Much Mouch. Mouch Munch Munch, is a lot. Munch, Munch, Mouchy Munch. Munch. Yeah. Yes. Um, might have passed in the fire. I mean, it's the worst place to have a heart attack. Not and that Casey? there's ever a good place. Yeah, you have half of Squad, you have Casey, you have Herman, you have Mouch all in this warehouse that's ablaze, and then the rest of us are sort of left to watch with bated breath, and you still have to put the fire out, but um, you know, we pick up in season six right where we left off, we're all still waiting, and I mean. Is awesome. that a little too much, like emo now trying to put it all back in pieces, hoping that you don't lose your team, and then, now, you know, your romance with I mean, Antonio, that might be a little too much. So much, you know, like Antonio, you're going to have to wait now for the nookie gonna, cookie. Listen, tragedy, <laughs> tragedy brings people together. True. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, people will just have to wait and see. <laughs> right. Yeah. And uh, and we're really excited, though. This is going to be an incredible season. We also have Brett's childhood friend. Um, Hope, who's played by Eloise Mumford, she's coming in, and she's a beautiful Indiana girl and um, turns a lot of heads in okay. the firehouse. Okay. So there's a lot of trouble and fun to be had with that. It's as not well. going to be like Chili, is it? Oh, I, you can never have the same kind of trouble as Chili. Okay. Yeah, that's a different kind of trouble. <laughs> yeah, that was a little too intense. And then it was coming off on you, who's the an angel in the, on the show, to me. Oh, please, stop. <laughs> no. Yeah, so I, I did, I'm glad that, you know, Chili had, she did have her problems, but I'm glad that that kind of got released in your character. So any, like, growth, though, for Brett this season? Oh, sure. I mean, I think, you know, Dawson and, and Brett are back together on the Ambo, and Monica is cool. just so wonderful to work with, and she really delivered an incredible performance at the end of season five, which is what we're going to be carried into. And, um, and I think, you know, I think, Sylvie is good. She's like kind of found her groove. She's really happy with the way things are, and and 
uh, I think as it always is with fire, you know, there's, there's sort of the challenges that we have outside of the house, things that sort of pull us apart in the external. And then this year, I think we're focusing a lot on internal conflict within mm -hmm. the house. And so, you know, as is with any family, there's a, still a significant amount of dysfunction and tension. And, and so this year, I think we'll be doing a lot more of that, which yeah. is really fun to play and really fun to watch, I think. Oh, yeah, I think so, too. And especially because you guys have personal relationships out. So it's like, no, yes. our characters are fighting now. So you have to pretend like I don't like you. Right. But in real life, we're like, cool. Yeah, we're like laughing in between. Takes. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So my last question uh, for you, John, is you know, you took a break from the whole squad because, you know, things got corrupt for you. And you were just like, I can't do this anymore. I got to go. So you finally, you know, when Justice was playing, you were doing that. Do you think Antonio now is ready to really get back in there dirty? Because you know it's, it's dirty. It's, it's never going to change. Well, that's, a, that's an interesting point that you bring up because that's, that, that ends up being part of the reason why Antonio wants to come back because he, he cares about this unit. He cares about... Uh, uh, you know, keeping it, keeping it going, and he, and he wants to do everything he can in his power to, to, to keep this unit going, and, and he brings in a, a moral compass, you know, and, and uh, he doesn't want to see the unit fail, so that's part of his reason on coming back, and uh, sometimes, sometimes you, you know, you, you think you know what you want, and you, and you go towards a certain avenue, and when you get there, you look back, and you realize, you know what, this is where I belong and this is where I could really be helpful and, and, and uh, so there's a lot of that and there's a lot of changes. The unit has to operate now under, under a, a watchful eye. Mm -hmm. So, you know, he, him being there, being that kind of, you know, with Voight bouncing where he's at, you know, they both want the same thing. They're just going different ways to try and get there. So that's a big reason why he goes back. Definitely. So we're going to come back on, uh, I know Chicago PD premieres September 27th and fire the 28th. Mm -hmm. So make sure you tune in. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you.